Did you know that the average college graduate makes $44,000 a year in the United States? Let's say you work for about 40 years. That means that you're going to make just around $1.7 million in your lifetime. Now, while that may sound like a good bit of money, of course, we have to give Uncle Sam his cut. So that's going to be about 30% of that $1.7 million or right around $530,000. All right, so now we're left with $1.2 million. Still not too shabby. Well, if you plan on having at least one kid, which the Department of Agriculture said takes about $230,000 to get them to age 17, why the Department of Agriculture knows that statistic, don't ask me, I don't know why, then you're left with just around $1 million and one kid. Now, of course, that's not including inflation, which has risen sharply in the past 12 months as the money supply has almost doubled, or it's not including any emergencies you might have, any time you were unemployed during those 40 years, or of course, any other expenses you would have other than having a kid. Now, hold on here. That's not even the best part, guys. If you somehow saved every single penny of that million dollars when you retired, let's assume you had about 30 years after retirement of your life, you would divide that million by about 30 years and you'd get about $30,000 you'd have to spend or live off of for the rest of your lifetime in retirement. That means even in this magical land, if you didn't spend any money for over 40 years and then lived off of that million dollars for the 30 years after that, not including inflation, you'd have about $3,000 a month to live your dream freedom retirement lifestyle. Exciting stuff, right? What the numbers actually show in the United States is that the average American has only about $120,000 saved within 10 years of retirement, which means that for the next 30 years, they'd have to live off of around $120,000. That's kind of scary when you think about it. And if you do the math, that's only about $4,000 a year you'd have saved up to live off of or about $133 a month, which is why most people actually have to come out of retirement or never even enter retirement because they can't afford it. Now, I think it's probably safe to say here that almost every single person watching this video knows a lot of these stats or know some of these stats and they know they should be making more money than what they currently are. But the real question is, how do you do it? Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the exact reasons why I became a millionaire in my 20s and the steps that I took in order to get there. Now, for me personally, I can safely say it had absolutely nothing to do with the statistics I just told you. The truth is, I just wanted cool shit. <gasps> You mean you didn't do it for charity or for your friends or for your family or for the greater good of the world? No, no, no. As a very hungry 24 year old, the entire reason I ever wanted to make money when I first got into business was I just wanted to be able to do really cool things. Of course, after I made my first million at 25, some of those other things did come into play and now I do take care of my family, I take care of my friends, I donate to charity, and I try to be a force for good in the world, but I'm not gonna sit here and say it on some pedestal like some of the other YouTubers or, or people that are influencers out there and try to tell you that that's the main reason you need to want money. For some reason today, people think it's shameful if you want to say that you just want to drive a Porsche or travel to cool places or, I don't know, throw money in the air at a club because you're ignorant like that. I'm here to tell you that your reason for becoming a millionaire could just simply be that you want cool things or to do cool things and that if anybody makes you feel bad for that or they tell you otherwise, you shouldn't give a you-know-what what they have to think. The truth is everybody's reason for wanting to make a million dollars or being financially independent will probably vary but there is only one real path in order to achieve it. That is through, of course, smashing the like button down below. No, but seriously, at 26 and having made a few million dollars, what I have learned is that the only real way to make a massive amount of wealth or a massive amount of money in a short period of time is to provide a massive amount of value in a short period of time. Now, the issue with the advice most people give you is that let's say I was gonna be a lawyer. That's what I was going to school for. That's what my entire family told me that I should be doing. Well, if I did that, then I would be exchanging my time essentially the value that I have to give my time and my skills for money. Well, that's fine and dandy and all, but the average lawyer in the United States only makes about $28 an hour. So for me to make a million dollars before I was 30, it would be pretty difficult to do that exchanging my own time for $23 an hour in order to get there. Even if let's say I was able to put in 80, 90, 100 hour weeks and somehow made it to a million dollars before I was 30, working for someone else or being a lawyer at $30 an hour, 
I wouldn't have had any time to actually enjoy the things I want to do. And if you remember, that was one of the main reasons I want to become a millionaire in the first place. So what would be the point? So the issue here is that the amount of money that I was going to make was directly tied to the amount of time that I could get. And if there's something that everybody on this crazy world can agree on, it's that you cannot get more time. Or can you? If you were to get a job working for somebody else, then chances are you probably couldn't get a whole lot of extra time. If, however, you were to start a business and start exchanging value for money, then it's actually pretty simple to get more time through a process known as leverage. Now, a quick Google search will show you that leverage is defined as using something to its maximum advantage. And if we know that we only have a limited amount of time and we wanna make a massive amount of money, then we need to make sure that we're using our time in the most advantageous way possible. In the first nine months of business for me, I didn't use any leverage whatsoever, and that's why I only made about $3,000 in total revenue. However, through watching some videos like these and learning from some other people, I I started to learn what leverage was, I started applying it to my business, and the results were phenomenal. Now you can apply leverage in multiple ways inside of your business, but two of the main ways that I teach my clients at Scaling With Systems and that we've used at our business with phenomenal results are by hiring more employees and systemizing your fulfillment. Doing this allowed me to grow my first business to a million dollars in under 13 months and my second business to a few million dollars in under 12 months. And as usual, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can leverage both of them in this video here. Now we both can agree that you only have so much time in the day, but if you hire somebody else to help you out, you can effectively multiply your time by two. So let's say when you started a business, you figured out how you can exchange an hour of your time for $20. Well, if you hired somebody to do that exact same task and you paid them $15 and they got paid $20, well then you are making as the business owner $5 in profit every single hour. Now I know what you're thinking, Ravi, $5 an hour is very far away from me making millions of dollars, but what you're failing to see here is that that's a very important step in separating your time from making money. You see, you made that $5 without having to do anything. And because you didn't have to do anything to make that $5 an hour, it means that it's hyper scalable, which means you can duplicate it over and over and over again until you're making a million dollars. It was actually John D. Rockefeller that said that I would rather make 1% of a thousand people's hours than a hundred percent of my own hours. And he was like one of the richest men in the world at one point, so we should probably take some advice from him. The second form of leverage that I used in order to make a few million dollars before the age of 26 in my business was to start systemizing my back end delivery. Now I know that might sound weird or like some business jargon, but what that pretty much means is that I was figuring out a way in order to make my time or my employees time much more valuable. What if that same employee that I'm paying $15 an hour, instead of having them doing something that generates $20 an hour, what if I had them doing something that generated $1,000 an hour or $10,000 an hour? Now, 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 before you get ahead of yourselves and you're thinking that I'm gonna send them to be a belly dancer at some kind of local strip club, what I'm talking about here is delivering even better results to your clients with requiring less energy to do it. For me, one of the ways that we did that was actually switching from doing one-on-one -on -one consulting with our clients to group consulting with our clients. If let's say that we signed up 10 clients in one month for one hour of consulting, and I charged them each $1,000 for an hour of the consulting, well, whether I had my employee do it or me do it, we were making about $1,000 an hour. If, however, I put all 10 of those clients on one consulting call, and then I had my employee take that consulting call, well, then I was paying $15 to my employee, who then spent the hour servicing $10,000 worth of value. Another example for a lot of you on here watching this video could be if you have a customer success manager or if you are saying the same thing over and over and over again to clients, you're essentially wasting your time doing that when you could create a digital course that answered the same questions that your clients are asking or at least 90% of them and thus you could deliver that to your clients without taking any more time out of your day or your employee's day. So when you start combining together this systemized, more efficient service delivery for your clients and hiring employees to actually do the work for you, it should be pretty simple to see that you can get to a million dollars a lot sooner than you think. Now, I wanna be clear and say that making a million dollars or doing a lot of this stuff is not easy, but it is really simple if you think about it. And it's a lot simpler or easier really than doing it the way that everybody else is telling you and working for 40 years and literally saving every single penny. If you follow these steps exactly like I laid it out in this video here, then you will be able to start removing your time from making money 
which is the first steps you need to take on making a million dollars a lot sooner than 40 years. A lot of these principles are the ones that we share with our consulting clients, as well as the ones that I use in order to make a few million dollars before the age of 26. I don't say any of that to brag, and to be honest with you, it feels kind of surreal saying it out loud, but it's important for you to know that you're watching this video right now that actually the main way that people are telling you to make money, go out and get a safe job and work 40 years and save it up, is actually, in my opinion, riskier than trying to do some of the things that I told you in this video here. So if people like your mom or your dad or your friends or Dave Ramsey are telling you to do some of these other things, take a second and actually figure out and do the math to see what your life would be like in 40 years, even if you somehow made that amount of money. If you want a free course with over four and a half hours of incredibly valuable content just like this, where we break down starting a business, scaling a business, hiring employees, et cetera, et cetera, click the link in the description down below and you'll get access to that course immediately. Also, if you got some value out of this, of course, this is not the typical video that I make. Please do me a quick favor and smash the like button down below. It means a whole lot to me. Make sure you hit subscribe if you got this and you wanna watch similar videos that I put out like this every single week and comment down below what your thoughts are on making a million dollars in a few years if you think it's possible, if you think it's not possible, and I'll see you guys in the next video.